Hey guys, it's Alexa, and I'm really excited to show you what I've been working on with Markdown Blogger. So recently, I was able to release a new feature that is custom paths. The way it was before, you could only push to a single directory that um, you declared in your settings. So if you ever wanted to change it or push to multiple places, it was a hassle. With custom commands, you no longer have to confine this plugin to just your blog site or your portfolio site. Now you can use it to edit readmes in your GitHub repositories. This is something I really wanted to be able to do because no one likes editing a readme in VS Code. Let's just show you how it works. So what we're going to do is use this command called push to custom path. And basically what's that going to do is fuzzy search your um, root directory and it, it's going to allow you to navigate through your file system on your computer really similar to how you would do it in a terminal i'm going to go to my desktop code projects i'm going to go to my md blog test the source folder and then content and see how easy and quick this is to just fuzzy search the directory name and you could find it almost immediately. But you'll notice two things here. You have this dot dot dot, which is gonna take you back up a directory, but we wanna be in this blog directory. And you have select. Once you um, press enter on select, it's going to actually push your file. And if you go into VS Code or running this project, and you can see that this just got added, the second post, so. Yeah, really awesome. Let's see if we can pull it. We will just edit this again, save it. And now I'm gonna pull from custom path, navigate back to that folder. And you can actually do one of two things. You can select the actual file you wanna pull from, or you can just click select and it's gonna know based on the matching file names. But um, I'm just gonna do it this way and we're gonna pull that file back into Obsidian. Everything's synced up. I've tested this on Mac and Windows. I'm gonna show you guys the development process I took with this. I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the new code I added. I realized there are some commands that open the um, this command window again. For example, if I like go to template and then insert template, Another another window just opened up right now, and it's letting me search through these things. So I was like, wow, that's definitely something that I could work with for a custom file path with all those directories. So what I did was I added these two new commands, and most of the logic here is done in this path modal class. So the path modal class, it extends a fuzzy suggest modal, which is something that's part of the Obsidian API. And this is actually, it was very handy because I didn't really want to create the UI myself. I wanted it to very much like fit in with the Obsidian aesthetic. And I wanted to make sure that you could find and search directories very quickly. I had to do some like resolving it path stuff. There's also a new setting where you can show hidden folders if you do wish to do that. And then I um, add these two custom paths here because this one allows you to go up a directory and this one allows you to select a directory. So every time we choose an item from the modal, if it's not one of the special names or files, uh, all we do is open the modal again and rerun it with our new path. So that's sort of the development process I went through to um, implement this feature. Definitely put suggestions on GitHub if you would like to see new features, find issues with existing features, all of that stuff. This is a great open source project to start on if you're interested in that. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys like this new feature.